Okay, next step two is creating a form and a sheet. And you're actually going to use the form that I have here and the sheet that I have here. When you click on this icon, you'll get a message asking you if you want to make a copy. Please click make a copy. And now you've got your copy of the form. You can modify the title. This text is some instructions for you. You can delete that and modify as you wish. Don't modify these first few items. That'll become important later. But here, instead of project skill one, you can just put whatever project or title you would like. And that's it for now. You can edit the rest of these titles as you wish. But please don't edit these first four. Now, let's copy the sheet. And again, right away, we'll just change the title. And you'll notice there are a couple of formulas here. Next, we need to link them together. To link this spreadsheet to this form, we're going to go to Responses. We're going to click on these three dots and click Select Response Destination. We're going to select an existing spreadsheet. And the first spreadsheet that comes up is this sample copy that we just made. Now it's linked to the spreadsheet. I'm going to go back to Responses. When I come here, now there are three sheets instead of just two. This is giving me all the responses from this spreadsheet. And then this query sheet now, I'm going to click on it and hit Enter twice. And now it's pulling in information from this sheet. All right, we've created the copy of each of the items, the form and the sheet. We've linked them together. Share your Google Sheet so that it is public on the web. This is an important step. If you don't do this, then when you put it on your website, you won't be able, other people won't be able to see your collection and display system. So I clicked on the share icon, click advanced. Instead of having it private to me, I'm going to make it public on the web or public with anyone who has the link. Either of these will work so that somebody can view. I'll hit save and done. So now I've shared my sheet with the world and I have my Google form here and I've done step two.